Yo ho everybody and welcome to another edition of Yinzer on Hockey. Before we begin, make sure you go down below, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you click that little bell so you stay up to date on all the off-season happenings. So <clears throat> today I want to take a look at a couple of moves made by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, announced earlier today that the Penguins had traded uh, Connor Sherry and Matt Hunwick to the Buffalo Sabres for a conditional fourth round pick. The conditions of that pick are that if Connor Sherry scores 20 goals and 40 plus points, the pick becomes a third round pick. And if Matt Hunwick is traded before the 2019 draft, then that pick also becomes a third round pick. So what this does for the Penguins, it frees up approximately a little over $5.2 million in cap space, giving the Penguins about a little over $10 million in, in salary cap space to work with going into the free agent signing period beginning on July 1st. And then shortly after that, um, it, it's been reported through multiple sources that um, the Penguins have agreed to a contract with uh, former Columbus Blue Jackets defenseman Jack Johnson on a five-year $16 million contract. And also, uh, it's just within the past few minutes, been announced that the Penguins have re-signed Riley Shahan to a one-year contract worth $2.1 million. So let's take a look at these each of these players individually and, and see what their statistics and, and value had shown. Uh, Connor Sherry this last year played 79 games, 18 goals, 12 assists, 30 points, was a plus two, averaging about almost 14 minutes a game. So very good uh, third line option for the Penguins. Uh, obviously, with his knack for finding the back of the net, he's got potential to be a top line or top six winger um, in the right situation. And I think he's going to add a lot of value to Buffalo. And I think Buffalo is getting a very good player um, that can help them uh, help them score some more and help them uh, improve their offense. Uh, with Matt Hunwick, <clears throat> a 32-year-old defenseman. Um, this year for the Penguins, 42 games played, four goals, six assists, uh, 10 points, uh, was a minus four, averaging 17 minutes and 31 seconds a night of ice time. Um, Hunwick just never really found consistency on, on the Penguins' blue line. Um, I don't know whether it was his age or his speed, just really couldn't couldn't find his footing with the Penguins. Um, he's been a great player throughout his career, for the most part. Um, he's, he's a positive player, so um, I, I think that he still has some value as a veteran presence on on a team, especially like Buffalo that's got a really young defensive core. He can bring some veteran leadership and maybe be kind of like a coach on the ice for them, and I, I think they'll get some value out of Matt Hunwick either as a bottom pairing defenseman or a rotational seventh defenseman. I, I think they get some good value with him. And, you know, maybe they do look to move him down the road and, and try to reacquire some more assets. As Buffalo is a team in the midst of a rebuild and any any leverage you have to try and garner some, some assets to continue building for the future um, is, is going to be good for their franchise. And like I said, the Penguins get about $5.2 million in cap space out of this deal. Works out great for them. I think... Um, you know, it, it could make them players in the free agent market. But, you know, with the signing of Jack Johnson and Riley Shahan, you know, maybe that kind of still tightens up that budget. But they still have Jamie Alexiak left um, to re-sign. They did tender him a qualifying offer, so they got some time to work out that, that deal. Um, for Jack Johnson this past year, 77 games played, 3 goals, 8 assists, 11 points. Um down quite a bit from his career highs of 42 points and, and 12 goals and 37 assists are his career highs. So, you know, he obviously didn't have the offensive production that he's had in years past this year. Um, kind of had a hard time cracking their lineup uh, late in, in the season as well as into the playoffs. Uh, so, you know, maybe a change of scenery will do him some good, a new coaching staff, get a new you know, set of eyes to find his the weaknesses in his game and help him identify 
and maybe that'll be good. Sergei Gonchar has has had great success with a lot of these defensemen that were, you know, kind of considered to be struggling defensemen or fringe players. Um, it kind of turned Justin Schultz into almost a superstar in the league, a very good top four defenseman who's played very well for the Penguins, um, even assumed a top line role whenever Chris Letang was out during their 2017 Stanley Cup run. So, you know, Sergei Gonchar's got a good track record with a lot of these struggling defensemen. So we'll have to wait and see if he's able to work his magic again with, with Jack Johnson. Um, but to me right now, this kind of feels like maybe he slots in on that second pairing a little bit for the most part. Um, you know, I would kind of prefer him in that third pairing role, but he's at, at this price tag at, you know, like I said, about 3.2 million per year he's probably they're probably intending on him playing a top four role and and we'll just have to see what that works out to be he's 31 years old so five-year contract puts him into his 36 year old season um and i don't i'm i'm not sure about this one this one i'm going to struggle with for a little while until i actually see the product on the ice and how it turns out for him uh riley shahan last year acquired from detroit uh, 73 games played with the Penguins, 11 goals, 21 assists, 32 points. Uh, primarily played a third-line role for them for a large portion of the season until after the Derek Broussard trade. Then he was bumped down to the fourth line. Um, he had some great chemistry with Phil Kessel while he was playing on that third line. And I, I like the value he gives to your center, to, uh, center ice depth. Um, to me personally, I, I still think Pittsburgh's got the deepest center ice position um, from top to bottom. And I, I think that locking up Riley Shahan, that's one less worry that we have to, you know, that's a need that we don't need to address now with having Riley Shahan back. Derek Broussard under contract for next year. You still have Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin in the fold for, for the next few years. So our center ice position looks very, very set in stone right now. And I, I like the way it looks. Um, so bringing back Riley Shahan on a one-year $2.1 million contract is the uh, speculative value of that. So that's a very, very good value contract, I feel like, for a guy who scored 32 points last year. I think you're getting a lot of value at $2.1 million. So uh, let me know in the comments below, how do you feel about these roster moves that the Penguins made today? Um where are the Penguins still lacking? What do they need to do to upgrade their roster? Are they in the market for any other potential trades or signings, anything like that? Let me know what you guys think. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. And until I see you next time, have a good day.